Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I decided to do a little switch up and do a little haul. So this is my first haul, obviously, since I haven't been filming that long, but I personally love watching hauls. I think they're fun, whether it's, you know, clothes or makeup or, you know, stuff from Bath and Body Works, whatever. I find that they're so fun because then I'm kind of like finding like new things that maybe I didn't think to get or I didn't even know existed. And yeah, so I just, I just think they're fun. So I decided to have a little fun with it. I got some stuff from Lush recently. Um, whether it was stuff from Christmas or if it was stuff that I got online myself. So I figured let's go ahead and show what I got from Lush and have a little fun doing like a little haul with it. So if you've never shopped at Lush before, Lush is a company that makes bath bombs and different bath products. And if you've never used a bath bomb before, they're just balls of goodness that smells so good. You just drop them in the bathtub and they kind of like fizzle and move around, roll around, and they just change your bath water to beautiful colors and they just make you feel so relaxed and hydrated, moisturized, and your skin just feel amazing and smell amazing. So that is what Lush is. So they make vegan products that are also, um, they're also animal cruelty free. Um, and I, I really like their products. Like I've been using their bath bombs for a couple of years now and I don't take baths very often. I just find myself not taking them, but then I have all of these bath bombs collected and I'm all like, I really should take a bath, but <laughs> I just never do it. Um, I should really find the time to do it though because I got some new bath bombs, of course. So the first one that I got is called Marshmallow World. And this one looks like this right here. So it's very pretty and pink. Um, I've never used this one before. This one was like an online exclusive. Um, oops, sorry. That's loud and crinkly, but this one was an online exclusive. And let me bring up their website real quick. All right, so unfortunately this one is out of stock, but this one was an online exclusive. And um, with their online exclusive ones that they came out with, um, they're more of like a limited edition collection of like their most popular scents that they have, whether it being like fragrances or like their soaps or shampoos or whatever. And so the Marshmallow World says indulge in this limited edition candied treat that smells good enough to eat made a scent similar to the best-selling american cream conditioner this fragrant fizzy bomb features the fragrance of soft sweet vanilla real marshmallow powder and just a hint of soothing lavender to give you a sense of complete confectionery calm the bath ball itself is a riot of pink purple white and yellow that melts down into a creamy bubblegum hue it's all of your candy shop dreams come true so it sounds super fun right and plus it smells really good um like i love lavender so this one has lavender oil in it to help calm plus marshmallow like who wouldn't like that so the next bath bomb that i got is called honey i washed the kids so it looks like this messy so it looks like this here um and this one smells so good but this one was again one of their like limited edition um like online only bath bombs that they came out with so this one is also out of stock too i'm sorry so this one says looking for a sweet pick-me-up this vegan caramel scented fizzer could be just the ticket it has the same fan fave butterscotch aroma as our best-selling honey i wash the kids soap and it'll do wonders for wintry skin too fair trade organic cocoa butter and extra virgin olive oil soak you in a rich dose of hydration while a touch of aloe vera calms and, re and relieves giving you all over comfort in the deep of winter if you you're a diehard honey fan be sure to pick this limited edition bomb up before it buzzes away so I was super drawn to that because butterscotch like yes I love butterscotch like butterscotch like candies I love anything butterscotch and caramel like who doesn't like caramel so that one was super intriguing to me and this one for like it's fresh ingredient it has Brazilian orange oil in it so it's like um, categorized as fragrant uplifting and cleansing but this one smells really good too so they need to make this one and the other one that I just mentioned they need to make those permanent because those both smell so good like I'm so excited to use these so then the next products that I got I was quite intrigued by because they're new and I remember when I went to the Lush store like up in Detroit 
um, or up near Detroit back uh, before Christmas time. I was in the Lush store there and the girl told me that they were coming out with shower bombs and I was all like, hmm, shower bombs, what are those? So when I was on the Lush website, probably about a month ago, um, I saw that they were on there and then I was all like, ooh, let's give these a try. So they have a few different kinds, but the one that I ordered, um, I ordered a couple of them, but the one of the ones that I ordered um, was not sleepy shower bomb. And it looks like this. Now it is quite small, which I was a little bit shocked by because I thought it was going to be a little bigger. Like if you compare them to like one of the, uh, like the bath bombs. Like this is a bath bomb and then this is the shower bomb. So it is significantly smaller, which I was thinking that it was going to be about the size of a, of a bath bomb for some reason. Um, but this one, yeah, let me get this back in here so this one for the not sleepy so this says blast off with this bright yellow shower bomb hold the buttercup colored fizzer under the stream and watch it transform into a cloud of cleansing foam that you can scrub all over for maximum olfactory delight shake off the last traces of tiredness with a citrus and herbal blend of lemon myrtle I don't know what this is Petite, petite grain. I know I'm not pronouncing that right, but whatever. And neuroli oils. I don't, whatever. While ground white rice offer, offers just a touch of gentle exfoliation, this is your final boarding call for post sleep perkiness. So with these, I'm super excited to try out and use because it says that you run your shower and hold your shower bomb under the like the flow of your water, and then as um, as this expands, scoop up the foam and cleanse your skin. And now this one is going to be uplifting, refreshing, and cleansing, and it has um, Cicalean, I think. I'm, I know I'm probably butchering these names. I'm sorry. Cicalean lemon oil in it. Um, but yeah, I'm like super excited to try these out. Somebody did say in the reviews that they did cut theirs in half, and they said that using like half of it was enough. So... I don't know, I'll have to cut it in half and see, but I'm super excited to use these. I think they're super, super interesting because we don't all have time to, you know, take a bath sometimes. And especially with me when I buy all these bath bombs and I never take a bath, this I feel like would be perfect. So the other shower bomb that I bought, and like I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name because like, I honestly have no idea. I'll spell it out for you and then you can sound it out for yourself, but it's K-O-Y-A-A-N-I-S-Q-A-T-S-I. -A -A -S -S -I. Like, I don't even know what that name is, but that's the name of it. But it looks like this. So it looks like a little, like a spin topper or whatever they're called. And with this one, it says, feeling a little off kilter, this universally balancing shower bomb is here to help with four mood altering ingredients. Vanilla to soothe when you're, rest when you're restless, violet to invigorate when you're feeling lackluster, lavender to calm when you're anxious, and lang lang to relax you when you're stressed. Together they combine to give, or to form a delicate scent with big impact. Give it a spin. So this one has lavender oil to help balance and calm. Yeah, this one smells really good too. Yeah, I like this one. But yeah, I mean, what am I talking about? They all smell good, but let's be honest. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited to try these out and, you know, see how they work compared to like, because I've obviously used their bath bombs before, so I'll be excited to like compare the two and kind of see like which one I think works better, like which one I like better. So, so sticking with the theme of bath bombs, I also have this one here and it's called under the umbrella tree so it's super cute it's just like a little, little tree shape like this but this is a bath bomb and what this says is do you ever wonder what could happen under the umbrella tree this soothing cedarwood and citrus bomb brings an elusive meditative serenity to your tub fragranced with our complex breath of god perfume it its grounding scent slowly unfurls to greet you as you relax into lush green waters. Branch out with this blissful balm to experience the effervescent scentscape of cade, pine, and grapefruit. 
So this one has lemon oil in it for uplifting, refreshing, and cleansing. So I've never used a, one of their bath bombs that was in like a shape like this before. I've only ever used like the circular ones. So I thought this was super fun. So the next bath bomb that I have was just like a limited edition one for the holiday time. It was just like a cute little candy cane. So super cute. They come out with like different like shapes and stuff for the bath bombs. Like right now for their Valentine's collection. I think it's like super fun. They have like like um like emojis like a couple emoji shapes so they have like a peach which like represents like the booty so um that's super fun and then they have um like the eggplant emoji and we all know what that's supposed to represent i, I actually want those just to like have them and like take a picture and put it on instagram and be like look at my bath bombs so another little bath bomb that I have that I just looked for on their website that is not on there anymore. It must have been limited edition. No, it must have been because it has like a he has like a little scarf on. But it's this cute little teddy bear. So I don't really know like what's in this one or like what's what it's supposed to do. But it smells really good and he's super cute with his like little scarf on. He's a cute little polar bear. So this one must have just been like limited edition for like Christmas time. And then another bath bomb that I have um, is this one right here here so this one is called cheer up buttercup and this one is more of a like a permanent scent so this one says if you feel like things just aren't going your way toss this sunshiny bath bomb into the tub it's bright perfume of roly lime and lemon myrtle will lift your spirits as this fizzer reveals its fuchsia core with for beautiful swirls in your bath water Ooh. Blue cornflowers add the perfect finishing touch floating atop your bath to remind you of the beauty in the world and to stop being such a grump. So this one has lime oil for uplifting, protecting, and refreshing. So this one definitely smells, I can definitely smell the lime oil in this one. It's not like too heavily fragranced, but like, like when you like stop, like after you're done like sniffing and you kind of get that like, I like to call it like the after sniff to where like you can like kind of like smell I don't know maybe it's just me being crazy but you can kind of like smell like that like i don't know like i said like that after sniff like in the back of your nose like that's when i can smell the lime but it smells really good and the how it says like it'll be kind of like a fuchsia color like when it like kind of like breaks open and like turns your bath water a different color i think that sounds super pretty so i'm really excited to use this one too and then i also have this little tiny bath bomb here now this one is called little bottle of calm and what this is it says in a hurry to lose your worries just drop a little bottle of calm in your tub and drift away with its fragrant potion of lavender chamomile and tonka brewed in a or brewed in greater concentration than the average bath bomb this enchanting elixir acts more like a water activated scent diffuser than a traditional tub fizzer so go ahead pop the cork and let the calm wash over you so this one has lavender oil in it for balancing and calming. And I'm really interested in this one because it says that it's more concentrated. So I'll be interested to see like how this one works and because it's like so tiny. But it smells so good. I love this scent. You know, other ones that I like too are, um, and John also really likes this one, is um, I believe it's called Big Blue. So it's just like a super big blue one. I think it has like seaweed in it, like dried seaweed. That one is a really nice one. And then also Butterball. That one is like my personal favorite. Like my skin just feels so, so, so hydrated and moisturized like after I use that one. And it smells so good. That one is like my favorite. So then that was it for the bath bomb. So then the last product that I got that I have never used before, but I actually really like it is the their um karma cream hand and body lotion so what this is let me bring it up on their website hang on a second so yeah with the karma cream it says our orange flower and patchouli oil body lotion packs with good karma into one creamy pot we created our karma cream to capture our best-selling signature perfume in a common body lotion so karma fans and converts can layer good karma from head to toe smooth it all over your body for a spicy citrusy fragrance and skin soothing kindness that will repay itself twofold hydrating almond oil blends with the finest fair trade cocoa butter to soften and balance dry skin while orange oil brightens your skin tone so yeah this one has um 
Lemmy oil. I think that's what it's how it's pronounced for its fresh ingredients. Um, so this is going to be categorized as sharp citrus scent, toning, and conditioning. But yeah, I like have never. I don't think I've ever smelled this before. I've never used this up until you know, obviously after I got it. But when I smelled it, I was like really because I ordered this like from online. So when I got it, I was really unsure about like how I felt about it, like smelling it in here because I, I don't feel like it's a scent that I typically use. Um, so I was a little like hesitant with it, but I like once I put it on, like I used it after I showered one day and I put it all over my body. And actually the more that I wore it like throughout the day and like the scent stayed, like if I like were to like go like this and like smell down my shirt, like I could smell it even like towards the end of the day. So that's always like a really good sign is when like your lotion is gonna, like the scent is gonna stay on your body all day. So actually the more that I smelled it throughout the day, the more that I ended up liking the scent. And now I, I personally love this scent. Um, but like I said, it's not a scent that I would typically wear, but it, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's, I don't feel like it, it would be a scent for everybody, but I really like it. Like I said, the scent stays. It is really hydrating. I put it on my hands every single day. Now I love Lush's, um, like their Sleepy Time line. Like I love their, uh, like their body lotion, like their Sleepy Time body lotion. Now I put that on my hands every single night. I like whenever I run out a jar of a jar of it, I buy another one because I am obsessed with it. So I really like that because that you know is just plain like lavender sleepy time goodness so i am obsessed with lavender i love it so i really like that but with this one this one really helps hydrate like when my hands like during the winter time like my knuckles like lately they've just been getting like so dry and my hands will get so dry like last year my hands were so dry to the point that if i were to put like anything on them they would like just burn and they would just they were they were really sore and that was the first time that it's ever happened and I think it was from just work, from working at Sephora and constantly using hand sanitizer all of the time and with it being so dry out so this actually really saves my hands I put this on after I'm done getting around um, like on my hands I'll put it all over my body I just feel very hydrated with this so if you're feeling like your skin is just very dry um, or your hands are super dry try the Karma cream um, because I like it and like I said, it just makes my, you know, my hands feel nice and silky smooth. So it takes care of the dryness. Plus it smells good, I think, now that I'm used to the scent. So I, I really like it. So yeah, that's it for my little mini Lush haul. I just decided to play around and, you know, I already filmed another video today. So I decided, hey, I kind of want to show you know, some things that I got from Lush recently and kind of experiment with doing hauls because I would like to do more hauls on my channel as well, whether like it's new makeup products or like whatever, like anything that I personally think is interesting or that maybe other people want to see. So I will maybe, I don't know, when I try like the shower bomb out, I'll like keep you updated and see, you know, let you know like how I like it and stuff. But um, I'll have everything listed down below that I bought if it's still available online. So then if you want to check it out for yourself, you'll be able to do so. But yeah, so I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.